All right, it's time for the executive edge. Beijing and Shanghai have started to relax COVID controls as new case numbers drop. Yunus Yun joins us right now from Beijing with more on just how the zero COVID initiative has cost China. Yunus, what are you seeing today? It's good to see you. Hi, Becky. Well, there's been a lot of focus on the cost to supply chains and factory closures, but there's another big cost that everybody here faces, and that is the hurdles that zero COVID presents to going about the business of your life. In zero COVID Beijing, the morning commute for CY Wong has looked like this. With public transport restricted, Wang pedals as much as 12 miles round trip. My backside used to hurt in the beginning, but now I'm used to it, he says. Wang's bike ride to work is one of millions of little disruptions taking place across the city and country that added all together is paralyzing business here. What took him 20 minutes on the subway takes double the time. For nearly a month, there was no public transport or ride hailing services in the area where I live in Beijing either. So if I had to go to the office, I would walk about 30 minutes. The office compound still restricts who could get in and how many people could be there at any one given time. So if there's an emergency and I have to go to the office, well, it just takes a while. The rules can seem random. On the right side of this road, people are mandated to work from home. On the left, they could go to the office. Many people are working from home, but as a technician at a hearing clinic, Wang has had no choice but to take his morning bike ride. I have to give myself more time, he says, for unexpected situations, like traffic. I get up at least 20 minutes earlier now. Wang is looking forward to getting back on the subway. So how is it? I'm kind of sweaty, he says. The big test for zero COVID is likely going to come in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the testing facility behind me, as well as many others throughout the city, were jam-packed today, shooing people away because they ran out of test tubes because there are so many people now getting ready to go back to work. So the question is, if there is a surge in cases, what is the government going to do? Or will they tweak maybe the definition of zero COVID, or are they just going to reimpose the lockdowns once again? Guys? Or, or maybe Eunice tweak the definition of surge. When you guys talk about a surge in cases, you're talking about what, 150 cases versus what we see every day here in the United States? Far, far greater numbers? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, today we had one case in the community for Beijing. And then, of course, the Beijing officials had told that particular district that they had to make sure that they all work from home. So they were being very, res very restrictive with that district. But uh, yeah, it's a totally different world when it comes to that.